Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. But before we jump into this deck, I have a couple announcements. I already posted it onto Twitch and onto YouTube, uh, but I am changing up my schedule for my streaming for Twitch. Uh, so if you guys don't watch on Twitch, you should, uh, but you can kind of skip ahead here. I'm changing my schedule to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, from 5 to 8 p.m. I'll probably be going like 5 to 9, but just the, the set schedule is going to be 5 to 8 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Mountain Standard Time. Uh, I just wanted to change it up because my wife got a job. So now I'm a stay at home dad as well as doing YouTube full time. Uh, so I'm going to be taking care of my son during the, during the day while she's at work, uh, doing recording kind of as he takes naps, things like that. Uh, and then going to be streaming three days a week so that then I have a little bit more time to breathe and also just kind of be there for family. Anyway, so that is uh, my new schedule. Let's go ahead and jump into this deck. Uh, so what we're doing with this deck, and I've, I've seen a few other versions of this one. This is a deck that I built right away as soon as we jumped into our 24-hour stream. So while it is original, um, it's been done now because everyone else has done it. But uh, what we're trying to do is playing Gatewalkers. So we're playing our Guild Summit, Gates Ablaze, and all of our gates so that we can play five color Planeswalkers, five color Super Friends. So we're playing just all of this, the 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 good planeswalkers and some that probably shouldn't be in here too but they're fun so we're gonna do it anyway <laughs> anyway so we're gonna jump into a little bit of this uh i'm not gonna break down every card in here why it's in here because most of this is just a pile of awesomeness uh not a pile of jank just a pile of awesomeness this time uh spark double we have to have three of because it can become a copy of any of our planeswalkers that are out here elder spell because it's really good with making sure we get to ultimates of like nicol bolas or other things uh because we can sack our own our own uh creatures we have two of sarkin because uh it's really good because we have Stone of Planeswalkers, and I'm just a big fan of it overall. And uh, otherwise, we're just playing Gates of Blaze, uh, Guild Summits to try to draw into our stuff, a couple Cleansing Novas. I decided to go Cleansing Nova over like Deafening Clarion or something like that because I do feel like we needed to have answers for the bigger creatures too because I've no been noticing that three toughness doesn't really do it anymore for a lot of the, the bigger creatures, the bigger threats nowadays. Like uh, the the 10th District guy, whatever, the, the with Haste and Heroic, uh, He's bad. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. See how this goes for me today. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. All right, we're up against Jezna. Bring it on, Jezna. And we're playing our Gatewalkers deck. And let's see how we do. Well, I like Plaza of Harmony with Gates of Blaze. This is a pretty good hand. Uh, we'd like some blue mana. We, we, we want every color of mana. Especially with this Plaza of Harmony, now we can actually utilize that pretty well. Let's go Rule Guildgate past the turn. We don't really play any ramp in this one because we are hoping just to have enough card draw. All right, so what do they take here? Maybe the Elder Spell? Maybe Teferi, Teferi Sarkin, they're all really good. Gates of Blaze, I don't think this deck's going to be playing as many things around that. All right, so... Golgari, go gate. Golgari. I, everyone says I say it wrong. Golgari, go gate. There we go. All right. Um, Interplanar Beacon is fun. It is fun. They don't know we have it yet. So let's go ahead and Plaza of Harmony. Pass the turn. And uh, pays for it, Kiora. Let's untap a land if they want and duress again. All right, they do not do that. Uh, man, we... Spark Devil does nothing. We could Elder Spell and get rid of the Kiora, but I, I'm thinking this Elder Spell is going to be better for us later on. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. If they're playing Kiora, I'm having hopes that Gates of Blaze is going to be a little bit better uh, as we go along. Rekindling a Phoenix. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, Interplanar Beacon. Let's um let's just Teferi bounce the Phoenix. We have the Spark Devil as well, yeah. Let's Teferi. We could have played Sarkin, created a a, a dragon, played another Sarkin. And that we could end up killing the Phoenix if we have enough Sarkins or whatever, enough dragons out. But let's just let's just bounce the Phoenix. Give us give ourselves an extra turn. We could have also ticked up there. Nah. I like what we did. Love, 
All right, Nickel Bolas. Um, I think at this point we just drop down this land. Uh, it is a gate that gets us up to four toughness there. Hmm. Uh, to be, I mean, for the gates of blaze. Uh, Elder spell is pretty fun. We get to put lots of stuff onto like a Teferi or something. Um, let's see here. I I'm just debating if I want to get rid of the gate. I, I don't think we can get rid of anything else really. Tezzeret is interesting. All right, let's go ahead and tick up first. Draw a card. Guild Summit. The best card in our deck, eh? We can draw two. I think that we just Sark and create a blocker, though. If it dies, it's really annoying. We could also just Tezzeret tick up. Let's let's go ahead and Sarkin. Okay, play Sarkin. Create a dragon as a blocker. Untap here and here. I guess I should have done uh, Plaza of Harmony. All right, they have Bedevil. Okay. Gets to kill... I'm guessing Teferi. Okay, they kill a Sarkin. Okay. They have the Rekindling Phoenix in hand now. And taps there. That's fine. Ooh, okay. We really need to start drawing lands. That would be great. All right, we're going to take up with Teferi. We need to move quickly. Another Guild Summit. Ooh, that's so good. Um, We just need to actually be able to start playing stuff, too. I mean, I want to protect this Teferi. We can also just Spark Double Bounce here. Take uh, our, uh, we won't be able to bounce the Rekindling Phoenix then, though. We also have Gates of Blaze. We can have a blocker. Um, yeah, Spark Double. Sorry, I'm late. It, it's supposed to come in with one extra loyalty. Okay, it, it does, right? Yeah. Untap. Okay, well, we're still in a decent a decent spot here. Um, they have Rekindling Phoenix. We can keep bouncing with this. Um, we have Gates of Blaze that they know that we have. We also just have blockers that we can put in front of them. Um, Elder Spell can put stuff onto our guys as well, but Devil's annoying, though. But that means they can't play their Rekindling Phoenix. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's uh, tick up. See what else we draw. Can we take a turn off for the Reliquary or for the Guild Summits? Or do we just need to start playing more things? Guild Summits so good. We also could just end up like Gates of, or uh, Elder Spell on our Teferi and use its ability and then draw millions of cards, get rid of all their stuff. That might be a good plan as well. All right, let's go. Let's go Tezzeret here. Play land, pass the turn, untap two lands, Plaza of Harmony, Demir. Just showing that we might have a counter. We don't have a counter, but uh, Thought Erasure, okay. They can take one of our many guild summits. They might have to take Elder Spell. Yeah, there they go. So they do take the Elder Spell now. We would like uh, untap land so we can play Karn and a guild summit. All right, so we have blockers for the Rekindling Phoenix here. We're going to tick up again so that we make sure we have that. We're going to tick up here. Nickel Bolas of our own, a eh? Pacha. All right, so next turn, let's see here. How can we utilize our mana the bestest? Just two guild summits? It's not a bad plan. Yeah, we're playing a Guild Summit. I mean, we just end up having so much value there. Uh, so, I mean, that that game was good. That was fun. Um, opponent was starting to do some good stuff, but 
we just got too much value they couldn't answer. They already played two Bedevils, so that's probably one of their best things to actually get rid of Planeswalkers. They did get rid of an Elder spell, but anyway, I think we were in a pretty good shape there. That, that was not bad at all. All right, up against Penguin, 5x3. Bring it on. And uh, gateway, Gatewalkers. Well, we have gates this time. We actually have not been finding our gates in other games, so we're going to keep it. We have our colors. Uh, yeah, this is fantastic. All right, so Azorius Guildgate past the turn. We even have Guild Summit on turn three into Gates of Blaze the next turn. Ooh, lore. All right, we're up against another Gates deck. So let's see. Uh, the fact that we have two Guild Summits helps so much. All right, uh, let's go Rack to go get. It gets out more colors. Um, and then we have the Gruel Guildgate. Uh, so we do have all of our colors. Yes, bestest news ever. All right, Interplanar Beacon. We have three Guild Summits. Oh, the happiness. Yes, I'm going to tap this. I... I kind of wish that they would just, like, instead of having it, like, have a button that says, do you wish to auto-tap? Like, that would be fine. That would be cool. I'm okay with that thing. Mortify. That's fine. We got another one. Don't worry about it. All right, Guild Summit, go. We could play a Karn here. Uh, not as good as Guild Summit. Guild Summit is literally probably the best card in our deck. Situationally, best card in our deck. Teferi. Pretty good card, too. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. We at least we have the Guild Summit down. We have another one in hand if we need to get it down as well. We don't really have gates, so I'm not sure I'm going to play it until I want to be drawing cards where Teferi lets us draw cards right away. Same with Karn. Good chance of actually letting us find some other stuff, too. So let's, uh, Plaza of Harmony gives us all the colors. Are they going to be countering things here is the question. All right, look, we're going to play Teferi still, because if we, we next turn, we have land into Guild Summit and Jace Castaway. Uh, so we at least get more value. We're going to try for this, gain some life. All right, well, we at least get to tick up. We're hoping that they just have a handful of Gates of Blazes, things like that. Ooh, Sarkin. Oh, lordy or lordy, we are going to be so happy next turn. <laughs> All right, untap, Plaza of Harmony, and let's go Azorius Guildgate. Acting like we have some sort of counter. Doan's Veto could be okay in here, although anything dual color might not be the best play. <laughs> uh, this is just for fun type of deck, okay? This is a fun, fun deck. All right, we get to destroy, sacrifice a Planeswalker. Yay. Um... Do we still go for Jace Cunning Castaway here? Or do we just go for more card draw? We can Sarkin, which is not a bad play either. I feel I like Sarkin better as kind of like a come down after we get more stuff. So let's uh let's Guild Summit. Guild Summit. I guess I should have played Jace first. Yes, yes, yes. Jace. I mean, not amazing. It is a piece of the combo if we are going to go off with uh, Nicol Bolas, which we do have Oath of Teferi in here, of course. We're playing a Planeswalker's deck. Uh, and so we do have the possibility to go infinite with this deck. Um, I have done it before, but it's actually with someone else's Jace. It was actually kind of funny. Um, we'll create a we'll create a body. Why not? Just because it isn't real, doesn't mean it won't haunt you. I like his voice acting. I, I've actually been really impressed with the voice acting overall for for everything. Very good. All right, what you got, Penguin? Tome of the Guild Pact. Yes! Oh, I love it. I should probably just bounce it just for the fun of it. Um, 
so this is something fun I could do. I could play Sarkin. Uh, let's actually draw cards first. So draw cards. So I can play Sarkin, tick up with Jace, gain, uh, draw two cards with Jace. Um, that could be fun. I mean, that's just, that's more card draw, and it does damage. Fairy's good too, but that's fine. All right, yeah, so we're, we're going for it. It's probably smarter to hold off on the Sarkin plan, but uh, we're going to tick up. Oh, wait, wait, cancel, cancel, cancel. Tick up here first. Then tick up. And then all attack. Oh, this wasn't a creature when it happened. It says creatures get this. Uh... Or no, does it have another one? Discard a card. Let's discard um, a gate, I guess. Spark Devil is really good. Let's discard a Karn. We have an extra Karn. Uh, Gates Blaze might not be very good either. Um, just in case they have stuff here, though. Okay, Deputy of Detention. Now Gates Blaze is great. Takes the Jace. That's fine. Take that, Jace. I'm good with that. Okay, makes a sacrifice of Planeswalker. Now I'm not okay with that. It's all sorts of dumb. <laughs> Ooh, Oath of Teferi. Oh, goodness gracious. So much fun to be had. All right, next turn we can uh, Karn and here. So let's, uh, we can, oh, we can Karn and Gates Ablaze. We could spark double our illusion. Yes, that's the game plan. Um, let's see here. I guess it's just to fairy bounce back tome so they don't keep drawing cards. They have so many answers for what we're doing. Gates of Blaze is really good here though. We get back Jace and we get to play Karn. I mean, I think that is the better play. So Gates of Blaze, kill our illusion. Uh, play Karn. I mean, we could double up on the Jace, but I'm not sure that's the best play. <laughs> Oath of Teferi is really fun here, though. Uh, we will tick down. And we will tick up here. Yeah, let's tick up. Spark Devil, another Gate. I mean, Gate draws us two cards. It's a little bit awkward. Like, do they give us a decent card or give us a chance to draw two more? Like, all of a sudden our lands are actually pretty good in this situation. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. As long as they don't play the Guild Summits, we should have a pretty good chance here, right? Gets rid of the Teferi. We have no ways of getting stuff back from our graveyard, actually, I don't think. Um, so that's fine. Ethereal Absolution. Uh-oh. Well, we can just bounce that back and get... Ooh. Teferi... Teferi, Elder Spell. Ultimate Teferi. Let's see here. We could also Oath of Teferi here. Um... How, wait, so let's see. So it's four Elder Spell, take down, get the emblem, draw two cards, kill their things. Okay. So to Fairy. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and tick up while we can. Tick up. Um, let's go ahead and grab that Spark Double. Why not? Spark Double is just so fun here. Elder Spell. These two. Yes, target there. Yes, target there. Submit two. Put it onto my Teferi. I mean, we could have maybe waited a turn to get the Oath of Teferi down as well, but now we get to draw two cards. 
get rid of Ethereal Absolution and Tome of the Guild Pact. And now I don't know how they really come back here. This is just a game winning play. Yeah, there we go. And that's the whole point of the Elder Spell in this deck is that it lets us ultimate with a Teferi, with a Nicol Bolas, with something like that. And it's just, oh, that is so fun. <laughs> All right, up against Vault, bring it on Vault. And we're playing our Gatewalkers deck. And ah, I like Gates, Gateway Plaza, Plaza of Harmony. We have gate, uh, Gates of Blaze for two on turn three and some fun stuff. So we're going to keep it. And hopefully this Gates of Blaze is good enough. The Game 3 life also could be very grand. All sorts of grand for us. I mean, Gateway Plaza, Plaza Harmony turns on every card in our deck. And so... Ooh. What do they take? It could be Oath of Teferi. Honestly, Oath of Teferi, very good card. Uh, the other cool thing about Oath of Teferi is that it gets to bounce back a Guild Summit for us. All right, Gates of Blaze, so they do have creatures in here. Good to know. Uh, so this could bounce a Guild Summit, let us draw millions of cards as well. So that, that's some fun stuff we can do there. All right, Gateway Plaza. And uh, let's hope we can find another board wipe of sorts. Teferi, pretty good. And we're, we're going to bring out value while we can. We're going to make sure they can't ever counter our stuff. The cool thing about Teferi 2 is that it does have 5 loyalty right off of turn 1, or the, the turn it comes down. That's hard to kill. It actually really is. So I am a big fan. Eee. So we can draw a card, hope for land, and play Nicol Bolas. We might have to tick down us on nothing. That feels so awkward, though. Not hitting land is annoying. It is very bad. Let's, let's, I mean, we're gonna, we need to draw cards. Submit zero. Pass the turn. No land. Uh-oh. We are behind. Behind for sure. And they have a lot of good pieces here, but everything is so good here that I don't know what they take. Maybe Cleansing Nova again. Ingrath is really good as well. They can, they can steal some stuff. Tezzeret is really annoying. Nicol Bolas. Okay, they take the Nikki B, which honestly might be one of our like least good threats. All right. Uh, well, Gateway Plaza. Tick up. They can no longer cast stuff on our turn. Or until our turn, we can cast Elder Spell if we wanted to. Uh, which actually is really good with Cleansing Nova. So pass to my turn. Uh, we can cast Sorceries now, actually. Oh, Spark Double. Spark Double is interesting. They can't cast anything on our turn, so let's go ahead and... I guess we just go digging for land again. It's very awkward, but we get another Teferi. And we will tick down Summit Zero, trying to draw cards here okay so we find land we find land now we have cleansing nova instant speed uh and double to fairy they really can't play things on our turn so hopefully they have a handful of counters all right commence the end game okay uh bounce that yes cool tick up yes um interplanar beacon Tezzeret's a little bit awkward here because we don't actually have any artifacts. We have lots of things that do help us get artifacts. Um, let's go Ingrath. Ingrath into Oath of Teferi or Sarkin. Ingrath just start getting value here. We have the Oath of Teferi for the next turn. And, I mean, I, I really don't know what they can play to come back here. Um, we have the Cleansing Nova. They know that. Okay, God Eternal Kefnet. That's fine. Um, 
Yeah, let's just Oath of Teferi. Okay, Oath of Teferi. Now we get to bounce stuff. So we get to bounce back a Plaza of Harmony. Gain some more life. Play another Gate for Gates Ablaze. We're just getting lots of life here. Let's just gain life. Um. All right, so tick up, tick down. Soren, tick up. We really can play sorceries on our turn. Just saying, we can totally do that. All right, make them discard millions of things. Take lots of damage. Very good. Um. The other thing too is we can end up ultimating with this elder or the elder spell at some point too, but we're just gonna pass the turn. Bring back the Plaza of Harmony, gain the life back. And uh man, I'm really liking where we're at. Okay, they play another Kefnet. That's not that great. We can still bounce it back on the next turn. Alright, pass to my turn. Yes. Uh there's a Nickel Bolas. Okay. Um yeah, let, let's win with Nicol Bolas. It's, it's time, right? Alright, so... Nicol Bolas. It's legendary creature or anything else, right? So we can bounce back the, the Kefnet, then Elder Spell, kill our, our things, and then kill them. They saw that we had the Elder Spell, so they know that we had it. That's probably why they scooped. Anyway, that was awesome. We got to win with uh, uh, Nicol Bolas. Even though they didn't let us go off there it was really cool so let's open up the pack and then we'll get into the wrap up here not too shabby at all another soren sweet yes all right so there you guys have it with uh with the deck and uh it's a pile of jank don't think this is actually going to be winning a ton because i'm only showing the three games that were good which were three games that happened to win uh the other games uh i, I didn't play too many more games honestly with this one we did end up doing okay uh but uh against aggro it's it's a it's crap <laughs> and it's pretty bad against aggro so uh you do need to maybe change up i mean if you hit the gates of blaze at the right time it could be good everything like that the thing i'm noticing right now is that uh gates of blaze is just too slow for the format right now like people are just playing stuff really fast so our life gain helps us out a little bit here but even that isn't enough because people are swinging with dread horde butchers and things like that that just kill us uh, so anyway, uh, probably need to find a little bit more removal for the deck. So put down in the comments below things that you guys have seen. I'm sure there's a lot of other uh, people that have created gate, uh, Gatewalkers decks, but I hope you enjoyed the games and the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye.